Good morning. Did you know that the needle is coming? Yeah. These drug companies, they are preparing this beautiful needle with a substance in it and they want everybody to take it. I guess you heard about this. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people will accept it. And when I think about this, first I feel frustrated, but at the same time, I don't care. You know. Because these people who are willing to accept this, you know, they want something inside their bodies, something that they don't know much about. I, I suppose most of them, they don't know anything about it. They don't know what's in the needle. They don't. All they know is this. The authorities approve of it. Yeah. And the establishment, they want them to accept it. That's all they know, basically. And then they will. And some of them will put the needle in their kids. You know, this kind of behavior, this character, is basically something that I despise. These people are placing their trust in the authorities. They don't question anything. They are lazy. They don't study the history of needles. They don't. And so they just accept it. You know, I, dis I despise this. Yes, I do. So, these people will not care what I say, of course, because I'm not authority for them. But uh, I have to say this. I will not feel sorry if something happens. No, I will not feel sorry for you. No. Here's one who wants to take the needle. His name is Joe Biden. This is what he said, apparently. He said, I wouldn't hesitate to get the needle if, in fact, Dr. Fauci conclude it's safe. Hmm. And then he said, look, the only reason people question the needle now is because of Donald Trump. So oh, this guy, Joe Biden, he must have a very simple life. Everything that he thinks is bad, he will explain it with Donald Trump. Yeah, what a simple thing. What a simple mind. Everything bad that happens is because of Donald Trump. Hmm. Not that people studied the history of needles, no. They... They don't want to take it because of Donald Trump. Isn't that the funniest thing you ever heard of? Wow. I have some great news from Europe. Uh, you know, the EU, they worked out this EU budget some time ago. It's a big chunk of money. And then they got the, this recovery fund, which is another big chunk of money. This recovery fund was to help countries who suffered during the crisis. So this was all agreed, everybody was happy. All the taxpayers, without have, having anything to say about it, they will have to pay for it. But then they worked out this thing, in addition to this, right? And that was to punish all the countries who will not do what the EU tells them to do. They are not living by the values of the EU. So these countries will not get any money. Yeah. And of course this was aimed at Poland and Hungary. Because they don't do what the EU tells them to do. You see? Now, especially Hungary got pissed off. Yes, Viktor Orban. He threatened to stop the whole thing. Because, you know, they... They pretend to have democracy in Brussels, saying that all countries, all member states must agree before they can do something like this. So this is the, the rule. And Hungary stopped it, yes. And Poland, both these countries, vetoed the budget and the recovery fund. 
So now they have to negotiate again, I suppose, yeah. Because they don't want to lose this money, of course. They will have to negotiate. Hmm. Now the EU, this is how they work. They use something, some bad situation, some catastrophe, like the, this crisis. They use it to inflate themselves, make themselves look more important. And they use it to punish others who doesn't agree with them. That's what they do. Just look at what they are doing to the UK. This is how they work. They are bullies. Yeah. They are psychopaths. Yeah, psychopaths. That's what they are. Yeah. You would never accept this behavior from a person. It's, you have a neighbor who's coming over, acting like the guys in Brussels. You would kick him out. Within a second, you will never, you would never accept this kind of behavior, this attitude, this arrogance. Never. You would never accept it. But somehow, we are supposed to accept what these guys in Brussels are doing. Because, because we can't vote them off, can we? No. All right, now we are doing fine. Yes, we are. I have to tell you. And of course, the solution is us. Yes. So we just have to keep going with what we are doing. I am leaving YouTube. Yeah, I will still post my videos on YouTube, but they will be short ones. Yes and they will be announcing videos on another platform. I'm not really there yet. I'm getting a new camera. Yes, I need a new camera, you see. So maybe in a week I will be on another platform. I'm on Parler. Parler is very good. If you haven't checked it out, I think maybe you should. It's great. And now I heard that the lefties, they are starting to complain about Parler because people can speak freely on Parler, you see? <laughs> they don't like it. So Parler is really, really good, yeah. There, will be a, there is a link below this video to my Parler account. Alright, be good. Bye.